welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video welcome back to part two of exploring nashatar we are going to be continuing where we left off the part one video we discovered the whole right side over here now we're going to be doing the left side all the way up to the gate of the queen the third part will be the gate of the queen and that surrounding area so let's get right into it and let's get started now I am super excited to continue this part two. I got a lot of good feedback and comments and, and just really a lot of encouragement from the last video on part one. I just want to say thank you, everybody. You guys are amazing. Let's continue with part two and let's go see what we can find out here in Nashatar. And we're already hitting water. <laughs> All right. So let's actually move our fathom dweller. Okay. It's on number six. All right. We're good. We're good. Forgot where our fathom dweller was. Now let's start exploring and see what we can find here. Now what's really cool about this side actually is probably my favorite side out of all both of the sides. The left side is a lot cooler just because, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot more to see over here. You do got a really cool shipwreck going on here, which is really neat. Alright, we have lost our mount already. We're just going to have to do some walking here. Now, remember, we're going to hit a lot of fatigue. We're going to hit a lot of walking. We're going to hit a lot of swimming, just like part one. So please be prepared for me to mount up and unmount. But as we come down here, we can get a really cool look at this shipwreck that we're normally not supposed to see. It does look like one of the Alliance ship that's crashed from Kultyrus. I do love the... Uh... Oh, we are swimming again. Let's actually mount back up here. I do love the symbol. I love like Kraken and stuff like that in the ocean. The Krakens and like octopuses and squids. And I don't know. I've just always have loved those animals. I love um, that kind of lore and craft. And I don't know. I just think it's really cool. So I'm a big fan of like ocean stuff. So this has been like a really fun OOB for me, honestly. All right, we're going to continue here, and we're going to see if we can get an up-close view of the shark. Normally, he's just swimming out here. We can fly, so let's see if we can get a better view. That is some shark teeth right there. <laughs> he's got a, like, a good smile going on here, right? You could say, like, Jaws up close here. So, I probably shouldn't say Jaws. I don't want Blizzard to get sued here. They have their own version of Jaws, I should say. Alright, we should hit some more water up here. Yep, we did. So let's get back on our Fathom Dweller. And let's continue the swim here. And as you can tell, we do have the ocean out here that we do got to watch out for. It does cut off. I love this effect of the water. I thought Blizzard did a really good job of that when they had uh, made that. So I thought uh, Nashatar is just really cool. And you know, Nashatar was supposed to be a place in the beginning of WoW, actually, since the creation, but they actually uh, cut it off uh, in the development cycle. So, there was originally supposed to be shipped with the game, and uh, it was supposed to come with it, from what I remember of the early maps that they showed off. Or, I don't know if it was supposed to be shipped with the game, or it was supposed to be one of the very first expansion. Because I know the original first expansion was not the Burning Crusade. It was actually supposed to be the South Seas expansion that Blizzard was going to ship out for the first time. Um, but obviously, we all know that didn't happen, and we ended up with um, the Burning Crusade. So, Which is kind of sad. I think it would have been really cool to see a South Seas expansion. Maybe we'll still get one. Um, which, I mean, I guess we kind of did with BFA, right? So, but who knows? Maybe we'll get some more pirate stuff in the future. Now, over here, we do got a lot more dolphins and another shipwreck. We are on the horde side, so we do got to be a little careful over here. As you can tell, there's another sh half a ship sticking out of the water over here as well. We're going to keep swimming this way, just like Dory would say. Just keep swimming. I love the ambience under this place. It's so awesome. I can see Maiden message me. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Not yet, Maiden. Not close. We're still in the beginning of this video. 
Maiden and True Hero have this game going in between them that uh, every time they message me when I'm doing a video, they try to see if they can say like and subscribe at the end of the video. Didn't get to it this time, <laughs> unfortunately. But they good try, Maiden. Now here's another close-up of this turtle here, which I think is really awesome. We can kind of get an underside of the turtle. It's kind of weird that some of these creatures are just floating down here. Because technically they're supposed to be in the water, right? But you don't see that from the outside. You just think it's kind of like an effect of water over here. But you, as you can tell, they're actually not in water right here. And you can actually walk through these guys. Now we are officially inside of a turtle. That's a weird view, huh? Let's take a screenshot of that. You don't see that every day. We got eaten by the turtle. All right, let's keep moving forward here. Ooh, I think we are hitting a little bit of lag here. Because there is a lot of graphical things going on at one time. Now, this is a cool little view. You kind of got like an underwater cave thing going here. With the cages and all that. I don't know. There's just some really, really cool screenshots here. Of uh, the game. So, if you ever want to take some good photography in WoW. This is one of the coolest places, I think, to go. Now, we do got to be careful with our fatigue, so let's see if we're getting back in the water here. Okay, we are back in the water, so let's get back on our Fathom Dweller. Excuse me. We are also in fatigue, so we got to be careful of that as well. Let's start heading out this way and see if we can stick kind of to the side over here. I believe if we follow this way, we should be okay. We should be good. All right, awesome. Awesome, awesome, let's keep going forward here. And there actually is a secret boss on this side, by the way. <laughs> so just a heads up, we'll be seeing that here in a little bit. Now this is really cool, because we are above the water. And let's go back in the water here. You can kind of see the uh, the way that they kind of built the map out here and the way they textured everything. I haven't said the word yet. People are waiting for the untextured word. Nah, I just said it. There we go. Now you got untextured. We do got the edge of the world over here. So I was told um, that Nashatar is kind of like right around this area here. Knowing from the map geography of Azeroth. We do got some calmness here in the ocean. So the music kind of died down. Let's get back up to the sea here because we don't want to die. Now this is an awesome view right here. I love this with like the waterfalls going down and all that. I don't know. I just think it's awesome. That is an awesome view right there. Can we go back in the water here? We can. We're going to get back on our Fathom Dweller. And we're going to keep a move on here. We're making good time as we're getting around the ocean here. Alright, let's go swim down this way. Or fall down this way, I guess I could say. And let's go take a nice glide through the air here. We got, oh, here's some new things we haven't seen yet. This is a reef a reef thresher. I'm assuming that's an, another shark model. I love this backside of this wall of the water going on here. Oh, and here goes the whale shark. We haven't seen one of those since Vashir, right? There goes another boss for you. Man, this is so cool. One of my favorite OOBs is definitely right here. I just think there's so much to see out here. Now, we need to start going because we want to beat this fatigue, but I think... Oh! All right. So, it's like we're swimming. And then we're falling, and then we're swimming. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. All right, we're going to keep going out this way. And actually, let's get a cool view of that whale shark real quick. Fatigue... It's hitting us, so we got to be kind of quick here. That's a cool shot. All right, let's keep moving up. 
We gotta beat the fatigue here. Or we're gonna start dying. Come on, game. Don't kill us. Ah, uh, I think we're gonna do okay. There we go. Sorry, I have my HUD on because I don't know how far we are with the fatigue, so I gotta be careful here. And we are right under this whale shark. Now that is a really awesome view. Look at that. Let's go up here on the land a little bit and see what we can find. All right. Now, if I believe or remember correctly, we should be near the secret boss that spawns out here. Unless it's a little more further up, but I think it's right here. There he is. Yes. Epicus Maximus. <laughs> and... Oh, man. All right, we got to get a close-up view. So let's wait for that thing to come back around. That is one of the best-looking models in this game. And we also get a really pretty view of Nashatar out here. Really awesome. Under the water here. Love that view. And the skybox is beautiful in here. I do have to stay out in the middle of the ocean. All right, we're going to get an awesome view here. Or if the sun doesn't blind us first. <laughs> Let's get an awesome look. He should spawn right over here, so... Should be in here any moment. I know he spawns every couple of minutes here. As we're waiting for the boss to spawn, I just want to say thank you to everybody. We are still growing rapidly. We're over... Oh, here we go. Okay, I'll thank you guys in a minute. Give me one second. That is awesome. Look at that. Epicus Maximus. I'd like to have that as a hunter, as a pet. That thing is amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. This is why I love this part of uh, Nashatar. I just think it's there's so many awesome things to see out here. All right, let's keep moving forward. We're making good time here. I feel like I could spend all day out here. Just looking around at all the OOB things. Alright, let's keep moving. There's the whale shark again. There should be one more boss out here, if I remember correctly. Look at that. That's some front teeth for you. Things are going to eat us if we get close. Here we go. Now, I don't know how to say this guy's name correctly, so I'm going to say, I'm going to take a shot at it, and I believe it's Sharibun, 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 <laughs> I don't know, maybe you guys can uh, correct my pronunciation here, but we're going to go get a really cool up close look of this boss. Let's fall a little bit. Oh, he does know that we're here, he's looking at us. Oh, snap. That's creepy looking, huh? Let's get another look at this dude. Looks like a giant lobster. Oh, we can also see these uh, really cool looking piranha fish over here. The Abyssal Magrim. Oh, that's what you call them. Probably butchering all these names, but whatever. It's so cool to get a cool look at these dudes. So let's um, let's drop here. I am in first person, technically, so I'm going to fly up. And we got to make sure we don't... We can get a better look at this guy going on here. He's got all his scale action going on. Look at his little arms. That's a really cool look right there. Look at that. Really awesome. He is following us as we move. <laughs> so he does know we're here. Which is really awesome. All right. Look, he does follow us, so. All right, we're going to say goodbye to our friend here, and we're going to keep on moving, but I do love that. All right. I think that's our last stop on the way to the queen's entrance over here. So we're going to go this way. Now, we do need to be careful out here, as if you go too far out, these guys right here will carry you to the gate's entrance so we're gonna come up this way and unfortunately guys we have ran out of time for part two today <laughs> or i should say the video is gonna end 
And I don't want to spoil too much yet because on part three, we're going to be visiting the Gate of the Queen. And I will tell you, you do not want to miss that video. The reason you don't want to miss that video is there is one of the prettiest or most beautiful, coolest things you'll ever see in this game, especially for photography. Oh, there we go. Oh, we barely made it. Oh my goodness. So we also need to go breathe. Let's see if we can get up here. Can we, oh. Ooh, so that's what I'm talking about. If you go too far in a certain direction, you will get carried away. So let's just keep floating up here. I think we should be okay. I'm learning up here too. Well, let's float to the top and I can kind of give my goodbye here. That's a really cool, awesome view, huh? Makes you want to go surfing. You need to get another screenshot. There is a lot of wow photography out here. So if you guys are looking for cool screenshots, maybe a new wallpaper, this is your place to be. So anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all the encouragement and all the awesomeness you guys have been showing the channel. You guys are great. If you haven't joined the ATN Discord, it's in the, um, the description on all the videos. Please join. We would love to say hi to you. I would love to meet you. We're over 100 members now, and we're just fast. We're growing rapidly, and the channel's growing rapidly, and I just want to say thank you, guys. You're all the best. I've had so much fun creating all these videos. I'm going to continue pushing out World of Warcraft content until I can't no more, and uh, you guys are just the best fan base, and I just want to say thank you so much for all the encouragement. I'll catch you guys on part three. Take care.